Hi, Ashley. Uh, what I'm going to do here is give you a series of three short videos just to um, tell you what you need to know about derivatives in order to solve problems. So this is going to be real practical. There is a theory behind derivatives, and in your textbook you can find the beginning uh, of that section is on page 740, and they, it, it explains about the theory uh, behind derivatives. But let's just keep this real practical here in these videos. So let's say that you have some function y equals f of x, Oops. and we don't know what that is. It's some crazy function in this case that I've drawn here. Uh, you can see the curve. And let's just ask ourselves, the question, what is delta y over delta x? And you'll hear that uh, frequently when they're talking about derivatives and so forth. Well, this is just some ratio. And in order to find delta y over delta x, you have to be talking about two particular points along this curve, right? Uh, this The ratio is going to depend totally on choosing two arbitrary points. Well, let's choose two arbitrary points. Let's choose this point here and this point here. And let's um, uh, say that uh, delta y, which is, let's say this is x2, y2, and this is x1, y1. Well, delta y is just y2 minus y1. Well, let's just say, let's give that a number, 3. And Delta x is x2 minus x1. Let's give that, um, let's say that that x2 is uh, 13 and x1 is negative uh, 7. So 13 uh, minus negative 7. Delta x is 20. All right, well, that's it. So if you had a line connecting these two, 3 over 20 would be the slope of that line. And, uh, well, that's all you need to know uh, about delta y over delta x. But let's um, continue that concept in the next video.